Ham Radio. I'm going to refresh that and log into my Supermon. It says log out and I have my key, so we are logged in. Now, I'm not arrogant enough to know that we're going to connect this first time or not because I'm pretty sure we got it all right, but I'm not 100% sure. I never am when it comes to this. DV switch is still a little new to me, but I've been fortunate enough for it to work. Um, now, right up after we've logged into Supermon, we're going to come right up here to the top. We're going to change this drop down menu to 1999, and we're going to come over here. And we're going to type in our primary node number of 576333. I like to scroll down just a little bit so I can see what's going on down here. What we are doing is we're having this node, our private node, connect to our public node. And once they are connected, the bridge should be complete. But let's see if it works. and it works now we just need to make sure that our traffic from our brandmeister is passing through so let me go get that walkie you will see here at 57633 now has an inbound connection with 1999 node not in database because it's a private node received never which means it has not received any traffic from it yet the connected time and what mode it's in it's in transceive mode and 1999 shows an outbound connection from 576-333, the KD5FMU 146.400 trainer node. Received traffic never. The direction's outbound, and it's been connected for the exact same amount of time, and it's in transceive mode. Now here at home, I have my little Anytone and my Anytone 578 uh, UV+. Plus. It's a Gen 1 radio. But I have a Pi Star here at home. I actually have a few. But I have a Pi Star here at home that is connected to the Brandmeister network. And I'm going to make it talk to talk group 3143399. And I'll hit enter. And that's the Ham Radio Crusader group. And it did not pass through. So what we're going to do for right now, we're going to come up here and disconnect 576-333. We know that they will connect now, but once the Brandmeister connection is functioning, we will see the information here. So let's go find out where we went wrong. Turns out I had my uh, self-care hotspot security password in incorrectly. And now I've confirmed that I'm on the Brandmeister network because I've gone up here to Brandmeister and I turned on hose line. And for some reason, the feed that you normally get isn't working but I can come up here to the player and type in my talk group number and talk on the talk group through my hotspot testing one two three testing one two three and you can tell that I'm getting through to the brandmeister servers in group mode so I'm going to stop that and we are returning back to our DV switch setup because what I discovered was I've come back here to our node 576333 and if we're talking on the Brandmeister network and we are successfully making it through to our all-star node if that bridge is up and running then we should be seeing some COS tech activity here even though we're not bridged Testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing. And we're not seeing it. So we got to figure out what's going on. So we're going to come back in here and run DV switch and double check everything. Let's just go through the initial config. That's correct. 314-3399, correct. 314-339988. And I know that I'm on Brandmeister's network also because once I'm logged in as myself and I come down here to my devices 314-339988 is showing up we got a green plug-in that means we are online let's just see what else is going on so it seems to me I've I've missed a very important step and we're going to investigate here we go 
Okay, analogbridge.ini. Let's configure these files. Start with analog underscore bridge.ini. I remember there's something in here that we've got to do. And we're in, going to end up changing some of this AMB audio files as, settings as well. But, okay, so we're going to leave this one alone. Control X. Let's go into the MMDVM bridge.ini. Let's check all these settings. These uh, information that we changed earlier in the menu. System Fusion, P25, NXDN. And I tell you what you can do. If you don't want to use P25 here, you can uh, hit zero. If you don't want to use NXDN, you can hit zero. And if you don't want to use DSTAR, you can change that enable also to zero. DMR network is enabled. Okay, now the IRC DB gateway, don't know about that. Edit dbswitch.ini. We're going to take a look at that and make sure there's not something in here we needed to change. Because I'm going to leave these at default for now. All right, so, okay, Brandmeister password. There it is, right there. Configure the Brandmeister connection, simple terminal feature update. I, I, this is another place to put it in. Well, I don't remember what STFU stands for, so I need to look that up. So, simple terminal function update. So, we're going to change this. And here it is. Yep, we've got to put the whole ID in here. 314-3399 and then 88 for our suffix, our SSID right here. And the talker alias, uh, no call, which I'm going to change to my call. And just put in the city. Or uh, my first name in the city. Darting talk group. And there's something else I wanted to show you that I hadn't done yet. But once you've got the DB switch server up and running, you can come up here and type in the IP address of your all-star node. And forward slash, and instead of typing supermon, type in DB switch. And you got this nice little dashboard running. Now you can see it's in DMR mode. If you come on down the line, I see I disabled them other modes. DMR and YSF is still active, and the networks DMR and YSF are in the green which I can only assume it's connected to those networks. I don't know that for a fact. Well, apparently it's not because it says YSF net not linked. DMR master is in Brandmeister. And if you click this button here and it's in the green, you can hear the Brandmeister traffic passing through here. So one would assume that if it's passing through here, it's getting through to your all-star node. So let's take a look. K85FMU. And it's not. I have another one running right now. This is my DB switch that is currently running right now on my primary node 58176. And it is configured for the TGIF network and it's listening. And I can switch this walkie over to it and go like this KD5 FMU. And you can see it's receiving the traffic here. It just now came in. Let me hit this monitor button. K5 FMU testing. K5 FMU testing. And brand my or uh, DMR is not perfect. You're going to get packet drops, and I keyed a little quick too. But okay. Well, I guess the first time it needs to work, it needs to be connected. So went ahead and connected the nodes. 
<laughs> Here's the local monitor that's working. This is the DV switch for the other one. This is the new one we just built. And if I talk on All Star, KD5 FMU. KD5 FMU. KD5 FMU. KD5 FMU. That's a little better. Now, if I get on Brandmeister, my talk group, KD5 FMU. KD5 FMU. It passes through to the All Star note. So, how did I get it to work? Yeah, well, I missed a few steps. I always do, and I got to write this stuff down. Go back into this bash shell and back into DV switch and go to tools and configure the INI files. And under the, I don't know if it was analog bridge or not. And I don't believe it was, but just so I am covering all my bases. Yes, it was in here as well. Underneath uh, AMBE audio down here, the metadata below is used when All Star is the source. My uh, gateway DMR ID is here, and then the repeater ID, which is the, has the SSID suffix. The transmit talk group needs to be your talk group that you're connecting to on Brandmeister. In this case, it's 314-3399, which is my ID, but it's using it as a talk group and not a private call. So change that. And I think that's all under analog. It is. So control X, yes to save, enter to exit. And then you're going to go down to MMDVM bridge. I'm not sure there's any changes to make here, but we're going to double check. This just gets all your systems enabled, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, and then we're going to go on down to dvswitch.ini. And then we're going to come down here as well. Not Quantar, but... This is the DMR section. We're going to leave all that the same. Good morning. The time is 11 a.m. Okay. And here under STFU. What does that stand for again? Yeah, I'll look that back up because I can never remember. But it is stands for the Simple Terminal Functional Update. In DV Switch, STFU stands for Simple Terminal Functional Update. It's used to access the Brandmeister DMR network. Okay, cool, whatever. But under this section, we've got our Brandmeister password here, but we've also got to come down here and put in a start talk group. I want to say that was at like 3106 or something like that originally. Change that to the talk group you want to start off in, 3143399 in this instance. I didn't have that in there before, and it made all the difference. So now Control X, yes to save. Now we're going to come back down here to and go back. And then you're going to reboot your Raspberry Pi server. You may not have to, but just do it. You'll be happier that you did. But we've already done that, so we can back out a DV switch all together. And now we've logged back into our all-star node, and I changed this to 1999, typed in the local primary node, and they are joined and passing traffic one to another. Here is analog to digital, KD5 FMU. Let's do that once more since I had the walkie in the floor. KD5 FMU. KD5 FMU. And digital to analog. KD5 FMU. Let me turn that up just a little bit. KD5 FMU. Now, we've got it working. Now, next time you reboot your all-star node, these two 
will be disconnected separate one from the other. Now I've got another video where you can auto connect to nodes using a macro when you reboot. You can just do that with your private node and they will connect upon reboot. That way they're perpetually connected if you want to keep it that way. One more thing we need to do before we call it quits. We need to go in to DB switch and tweak some audio settings and it really helps with Brandmeister. Okay, so we're going to go back into DB switch. We're going to go to tools, configure INI files, and we're going to go to the analog underscore bridge dot INI. According to this file, we're going to scroll down to USRP stanza. Let's go down to the USRP stanza. And there it is. Now, first thing we're going to change is go to USRP audio and change it to audio use gain audio underscore use underscore gain so that's under USRP audio it's set for audio unity and we're going to change it for audio use underscore gain Next thing we're going to change is change UR, USRP gain equals 3. It's currently set at 1.10. We're going to change that to 3. And now we're going to comment out the USRP AGC. AGC is automatic gain control. So we're just going to comment that out with a semicolon and then we're going to go to TLV gain and change it to 0 0.35 and it already is. And this will adjust your audio for analog to DMR bridge and vice versa. So let's go in there and hit control X. Yes to save. Enter to exit. Go to back. Go to back. And then exit. Now you can see here under the DB switch dashboard that we've been pressing the button a few times and other people will talk on that talk group their information will show up here. You'll notice it looks a lot like the PyStar dashboard, but with a lot less functionality. And we'll test the audio just one more time. Here is analog to digital, KD5FMU. KD5FMU. And digital to analog, KD5FMU. KD5FMU. Our bridge is functioning, folks. I'll be doing another video pretty soon, uh, as soon as I get it figured out, hopefully today, tomorrow, something like that, I don't know. I want to do this as uh, YSF net linked also, or as the master. Uh, I'm not sure how that goes down in this situation, but I'm working on that, and I'm talking to a gentleman that knows how, so we'll get there, nonetheless, we'll get there. That is how it's done, folks. And I'll have a more descriptive uh, show notes in the uh, in this video's description. So, yeah, DB switch on your All Star node. If that's what you want, you can link it to your Brandmeister talk group. You can also link it to a TGIF talk group. Uh, those two modes I've done successfully, and YSF is next, up and coming. So, this is Freddie Mac wishing all the good signals to be yours. Saying seven threes and ham on, y'all.